The AFTV USA Tour is brought to you today by NordVPN. NordVPN offers you secure and private internet browsing on the go with maximum protection. You can stream all your GeoBlock programs and it's fast. From a click of a button, you can be anywhere in the world. Feel invincible with NordVPN. Hi and welcome along to AFTV. We are still here in Florida, USA. The sun is shining and you know what? It's another beautiful moment because we've made another sign-in. Welcome to Arsenal, Alexander Zinchenko, who was signed from Manchester City, uh, 32 million pounds plus uh, estimated around two million pounds in add-ons. You know, Arsenal, they never really give the full details of these things. Um, he signed a four-year contract until 2026 and becomes an Arsenal player. Immediate reaction from you guys. Um, let's start with you, Cecil. You yeah. happy with this, I'm, Zinchenko? I'm happy with this. Robert, can be honest, so I think, you know, we need to strengthen we need to strengthen that area. I think he's going to come in and challenge Tierney for that left-back spot. I think, if anything, he might, might see him start there over Tierney. Um, excited for this one. I think it's good business, good fee as well for him. Very versatile with Sina Mikel Arteta sticking to this trend. I keep talking about in all the World Cup videos that, you know, he wants players to play in multiple positions. And Zinchenko, it's got that quality and you know coming from Man City it'll be a good addition for um, it's going to be a great addition when he joins the squad I'm excited to see him yeah, yeah good, good sign Manchester City reject oh. <laughs> or, or as I saw some City as I saw some uh, Tottenham fans actually because City fans are actually really praising him yeah. Manchester City reject or brilliant signing I think it's a very good signing yeah and, and at the end of the day he's not a reject like, he played a lot of times for City and if you're going to take anyone's junk take Manchester City's junk do you know what I mean because yeah. it's uh, listen, I think he's, he's a good player. He ticks a lot of boxes. He's very good on the ball. He knows Arteta. 25 years of age, he falls into the age bracket that he's trying to work with. Mm -hmm. Like Cecil was saying, I, I think he will maybe start the season at left back, but I do think he has got ambitions to play in midfield. So I think it's a mixture of both. He can help us. And listen, I think you need winners in the dressing room. He's won a number of trophies, as um, Jay Zeus has as well. So, mm. like, listen, get more of them in. I'll take whoever Man City are letting go, we'll take them. <laughs> yeah, I've got no problem this, taking their leftovers. This reject thing, though, <laughs> it is blown up because yeah, th there's, there's this, and I said it on another show recently, there's this myth that Man City have. 22, 25 players, and they just, that's not been true for a long time. Guardiola's actually kept quite a tight squad mm. of kind of 17, 18 retrust. Look at their benches, like they do have academy players on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Zinchenko has been one of them that, okay, I mean, I did this in the breakdown. If you actually look at his starts, they do come against the worser teams in the Premier League, to be fair. But when they needed a goal, when they were a goal down and the title's on the line, they called on him to go to left back and they moved Cancelo to right back. And he, he played a big part in that. And you look at him captaining the Ukraine side. This is a guy who, he does step up to the big moments. Now, is he going to come and transform Arsenal? Sure, there's a debate about that. I, I don't know if he transforms us, but I think he's going to play in midfield. I think he's going to be an upgrade on what we have in you're that. You're still though. on this midfield yeah, thing? Playing, oh, he's playing midfield. Geez. Why? He's, Why do you still... Who leaves Man City? Where you're playing left back to then play left back at Arsenal, Zinchenko. You, yeah, I think the, <laughs> you, you, the <laughs> only way the only way he plays left back is if Tierney has a, like a horror season in terms of injuries. And people have been saying, like, I know this injury thing is a problem for Tierney, but he still started 22 Premier League games last season. It's not 10. It's not even 15. He still started 22 of them. So if he's fit, he is going to be playing. And I think Zinchenko is then going to play in midfield. You what do you think? Break down? Do you, well, do you not think that maybe Pep's gone to him and said, look, Cancelo, probably the best left back in the Prem last year with Robertson. Uh, they want Cucurella. You're going to be third choice. You're not going to play. And but they, they wouldn't sign Cucurella push. if they weren't getting rid of Zinchenko. I think the two go hand in hand. Maybe he's gone to him bit. and said, look, Cucurella's coming in. You're going to be third choice. You need football. Arteta wants you. You'll get game time there. Combination of left back. I just think you're 25 years old, right? You've mm. just captained Ukraine. Like, and he showed in that in those um, World Cup qualifiers and Nations League, how good he can be from midfield. Yeah. He wants to go and prove he can do that in the Premier League. That's what it's all, it's like Jesus has been playing on the right for City, but he wants to show he can do it up front for Arsenal. You know, Pep has used these guys because they're quality, but they don't quite get in the roles that he wants. He prefers a false nine. Mm. And I, 
they're coming to play midfield and up front for Arsenal. I'm not really concerned about that. You, you did the breakdown, James. You did the numbers. You know Zinchenko's left fullback um, ranks. He ranks first pass completed, pass accuracy, pass in the final third. So first in what? First out of out of everyone in 2021 season. In the Premier League, yeah, pass completion and fullbacks, fullbacks, and fullbacks. And fullback rank, yeah, um, pass completion, pass accuracy, and in the final third. So his numbers don't lie. He, he produces a lot um, from that fullback position. And yeah, I think but look where Man for, City's fullbacks play. Basically in midfield. Yeah, but, but then, but, but it's sorry, I, I hear that. Yeah. But it start from left, but he can, he can flow into Absolutely, that position but and do what Jack yeah. was, was doing last season. But I, it's going to be full back first. So listen, we might see him in, in, in we we'll probably will see him in midfield at some and point. And he's going to offer some serious competition yeah. to um, Kieran Tierney. I mean, even when Kieran, to Kieran Tierney is fully fit, this is a guy that is going to offer serious competition. Is it? It's not going to be a given yeah. for Kieran Tierney, would you say? I, I would argue Zinchenko's better on the ball than Tierney. I think because no. he's a natural yeah. midfielder, yeah, he has more quality. I think Tierney's better defensively. But I feel like Zinchenko will tick the boxes more of what Arteta wants out of a fullback. So, listen, we, like you were saying yesterday, we need competition. It can't be, oh, we've got him, so we can't buy him. We need two good players fighting for the same spot. Mm. That's what the best teams do. So and we're not, yeah, we're not killing Kieran Tierney no. as well. I know people in the club are like, oh, you're disrespecting Tierney. Listen, we love Tierney as well. And yeah. he is definitely a good player. But like you just said, Rob, like competition and Kurt, it's like, that's what needs to build this side. We can't have people just, oh yeah, now he's in, he's off. Or you have to have competition to build a good side. And remember, plenty of games this season. Yeah. Plenty of games. True. So mm. it's, it's important that, you know, we need strength in, in all areas. And we're, we're building for that. I mean, I'm happy. I'm really happy with this sign. I can't lie. I was like Gabriel Jesus. I'm happy with this signing. Yes, we still need more, but the quality is there. I'm not looking at his yeah. fencing and the quality's dropped. No, there's okay. improved. Quickly, what would you give this signing out of 10? Ooh. James. Ooh. Ooh, well, including value and all that. Yeah, everything. Uh, I'd probably give it an eight. I'd give seven. it a seven. Mm. I think it ticks a lot of boxes. It's not the most exciting, but I think it's it's necessary. I'd give it a seven. Seven because I don't have clarity from the manager to say what position is he playing for. That is, <coughs> if I had full clarity of he's going to be, he's going to be in the midfield. Then yes, uh, I maybe do it higher, or if he's going to play left back because I don't know if we're going to need another midfielder if he's going to be playing left back. So seven for now. I'd actually give it a nine, wow. right? And and the reason why I give it a nine. Late night was it? Do we sign this? <laughs> no, 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 hold on, hold on. There's 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 different type of signings. Yeah, you sign a Messi or whatever like that. But if you don't, you know, um, everybody at PSG would have given the signing of Messi a ten, but he weren't really <laughs> needed. He don't really fit, and it hasn't worked out. This is why I give this signing a nine because yeah, this is a player that fits what we need. We needed somebody who's going to push Kieran Tierney. I, I disagree with James. I don't think he's coming to be a midfielder. I think he's coming to be a left back who can play in the midfield, mm. right? This is a guy that's going to offer serious competition to Kieran Tierney. He's Premier League proven, right? He's experienced, the captain of Ukraine. He's still young at age 25. I think this is an excellent signing that makes perfect perfect sense it may not be your most exciting signing it's not going to be the signing that gets you off your seat and you're jumping around but when you look at you know and you look around as well and think who else could we have got to come in to cover mm. i think it's an excellent bit of business by arsenal and i really think this is a really shrewd signing and you've got to take it off to arteta he's probably come because of arteta's yeah. influence yeah. from knowing him at man city and stuff like that so um excellent signing um, by the way, I hope you guys weren't too distracted by, uh, you know, what was the what's models been, in the back. Yeah. What's been happening um, in the background there? You know, what I mean, uh, a couple of alligators. Love, the, two, the two alligators in the background. You know, yeah. Love Island Julian and uh, Lee judges. You know, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> they've coupled up. Is that a reason? They've coupled up. They've coupled up. But listen, I, I just got to say. Um, Alexander Zinchenko has signed for Arsenal as announced down here in Florida. Um, the fans are very happy about this one. I feel it's going to be a good signing for Arsenal. Whether it be left back or he plays in centre mid, it's a very positive signing to Arsenal. So only one thing left to do and say welcome to Arsenal, Alexander Zinchenko. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.